back here with Best of Wisconsin Restaurants. If you've never heard the phrase, that's not fat, that's beef butter, you're gonna be hearing a lot more of that as we start our show here today and in the upcoming months. And I'm joined now by John and Patrick from Beef Butter Barbecue here on the north side of Madison. Gentlemen, thank you for having us here today. Hey, it's our yeah. pleasure. Yep, thanks for coming. Absolutely. So Patrick, you are our pit master. You're the meat guy here, John. I am the meat guy. So I want to jump right in because obviously we've got a really good hunk of meat here. And I want to know, first of all, what we're looking at and how we're going to prepare it here today. All right. Well, first of all, Beef Butter Barbecue only buys Black Angus Prime Brisket. All right. Okay? We trim it down to a quarter inch fat cap, which John is going to do. Okay, so go ahead. He's been in okay. the meat business for about 30 years. Okay. And uh, he's an expert uh, meat guy. Okay. And it uh, took me about a year to land him, but uh, we finally landed him here at Beef Butter. But what he's doing is he cut it, he, there's a couple pockets. Now, the brisket is the pectoral muscle of the cow. Okay. It's the strongest muscle of the cow. It's the two muscles that the cow is standing on all day long. Okay. It used to be the least desirable piece of meat right. on a cow. Right. And But then, uh, down in Texas, someday, someone uh, left it in a smoker for 12 hours. and uh, By it mistake, out, it wasn't. By mistake. Yeah. And it came out, and it was just tasted like beef butter. And okay. That, and that's where we got our name, Beef Butter Barbecue. That's beef not butter fat, barbecue. that's beef butter. Okay. So um, he's trimming it right now. We trim all the fat off the bottom of the brisket. Okay. And then we trim the, the fat cap down to about a quarter inch. Some people don't trim their briskets at all. Okay. And if you do that, then the smoke doesn't have a chance to penetrate into the meat far enough, or they've got to smoke it for, you know, an ungodly number of hours. That makes sense, because this looks, I mean, if you look at the thickness of this, that looks like it would be hard for the smoke flavor to kind of uh, embed itself in the meat. Yeah, so we're usually trimming three to four pounds of fat off of each brisket. Okay. And so at the end of the day, when the brisket's completely done, we only get about a 35% yield. By okay. the time we trim off the meat, smoke it, yeah. and then serve it to the customer, uh, it, we get, like I said, uh, a 35%. Well, yep, about wow. a third of it is actually usable. Wow, wow, that's amazing. And that's that's what makes brisket so expensive, is first of all, buying prime, sure, and suppose, the yeah. yield loss that you get with it. But, you know, doing barbecue right is expensive. Absolutely, so. absolutely. So, I wanna make sure that customers who might not uh, be familiar with beef butter barbecue know when they come up here, you've uh, described yourself as sort of, uh, well, we can't really use the name, but uh, it's, uh, kind of an a la carte of barbecue. So you come in and then you can you start out with some meat and then you can get add-ons after that. So tell us a little bit about that. Right, so we have a really interesting process. Uh -huh. uh, you come in, you buy meat by the pound, sure. just like a regular butcher shop, okay. smoked meats by the pound, or when you get a sandwich meal, it, you pick what you want. You want uh, a quarter pound of brisket or a half pound of brisket, you get two sides with it and you walk right down the line and we customize your order of however you would like it. Oh, fantastic. And uh, obviously brisket is our most popular meat because very few people do brisket right. Right. It, it's a long process. What John is doing now is, it's very simple, we use a very special coarse salt mm -hmm. and coarse pepper. Uh, we don't put in any other type seasoning. Some people put in garlic, sure, onion yeah. powder, uh, paprika, whatever, sugar. Sugar yeah. just burns in the smoker. Okay. Um, we we You're keeping let, it simple here We today. let the beef speak for itself in the flavor. And then we also have a very special smoker that we put it in. Okay. You know, this is a, a Myron Mixon smoker. Okay. So we have a fire pit. So uh, this is this is set. This is ready to go in the smoker right that's now. That's it. Ready All to right. go. So trim it down to a quarter inch fat Excellent. cap. And, well, through uh, the magic of TV, it. we can uh, go ahead and get uh, what the finished product looks out looks like right now. And I can get that for you here. You want to grab that? All right. Now you can see right off the bat. These were these were the same size brisket. That's the same size as what That's, that was. That is the oh same size that brisket. That is crazy. You want to switch with me, Patrick? Because I have raw. Oh yeah, yeah. Thank okay. you. Okay. So we wrap all our briskets in pink butcher paper. Okay. So what we do is we first smoke it for six hours. Sure. Yeah. Then we wrap it. Look at how tender that is. Look at that. I mean, that's just amazing. That is amazing that that shrunk down from that size. I'm so, always amazed by that. So the brisket has two different muscles going in two different okay. directions. 
you have the point mm -hmm. and the flat. Mm -hmm. And it's very important that you separate those before slicing. Okay. Because you always want to slice against the grain. Against the grain. And okay. when you so when you come up, something that's new to Wisconsinites is the first thing we'll ask them when they order brisket is fatty or lean. Yeah. And when they think of fatty, they think, oh, is that like prime rib fatty where I'm gonna get an inch of fat? Right, yeah. No. Fatty is just it's a more uh, marbled uh, part of the, the meat here. Sure. But I'm gonna slice oh, it apart my gosh, for you. Look at that. So that's that. that's called the point. And I'm notice I'm turning it 90 degrees, so then I know to slice it this way. Wow. This is the flat. Okay. It actually goes under the point, and so this is called the lean part. And that's going in a different direction. Wow. So now you can see that uh, now I've got the grains going in the same direction. Fantastic. So, this so then when you cut it and then you, you you add it to, go ahead, go ahead, and then you add it to, people can order sides and things like that to go with it. Yeah, and our most famous side is our smoked apple pie baked beans. I mean, grab, they're just incredible. I'm gonna grab a plate here. Yep, grab a so plate. So we can get that on there right away. Yeah. Here, here are some of our sides. Oh my gosh, look at these. Yeah, I'll show you what we do. So this is the lean part here. You just gotta, you, you gotta try this. Oh my gosh, yes, yes. Mm. I mean, you hardly have to chew it. <laughs> and, then, and then you can see, it's a lot, see how lean that is? And it's a lot tighter meat structure, mm -hmm. but it's still fork tender. Look at that, you can eat it with a fork. Oh my gosh, yeah, look at that. And now that's from smoking it for six hours then we wrap it, then we smoke it another six hours, and what that does is renders all the fat and breaks down the connective tissue. So even the lean part is that tender. So well, then, let's get it on the plate here with some sides. And this is usually what you use to yep. serve the sides. So yep. gonna... Yeah, we like long spoons. <laughs> so you get you get a side of smoked apple pie, or uh, that, that's our white cheddar mac and cheese, and our smoked apple delicious. pie and baked beans. Mm. I usually use two different spoons, but in TV purposes, land. Yeah, for the purpose of TV, we'll look at that. There, you can put, mm. it right, put it right on there. And, and that's, yeah, and now I'm gonna put some little up. fatty brisket on there. That's awesome. Oh, well, and then we gotta put some. Well, we're gonna, we're out of time here already here today, but Always. that is, looks delicious. <laughs> Come on down to Beef Butter Barbecue here on the north side of Madison and try some beef butter. We'll be right back with more Best of Wisconsin restaurants after the break. <laughs>